All right. Let me tell you, this is a true story, okay? It happened long, 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 long time ago. Is it dinosaur princesses crowned? No. Princess not. Kira mm -hmm. stole the 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 evil bad guy's crown, and then and then and then the bad guy stole the king's crown, no. and then the children uh, stole the crown from the bad guy and gave it to the dad again. No. no. Hmm? It's not about that. Okay, but that was not. It's kind of similar. All right, listen. So a long, long time ago, okay, there was a woman, and she had no babies, and she wished that she had a baby. So she went to the church, and she said, oh, I wish I had a baby, please, God. If you give me a son, I'm going to tell him to become a priest in the What's church. A priest? He's the guy who goes in the church and he talks about God. So he's like God's worker, sort of. Anyway, and then the priest in the church saw her asking for favors. And the priest said, get out of here, lady. I think you're drunk. And so he shooed her away. Anyway, this lady ended up having a son, just like she asked. And she named her son Samuel. What? And she had more kids after that, too. Girl. She, I, think, I don't know. Maybe she might have had girls. But she had Samuel become a priest in the church. And so Samuel, when he got older, he would do whatever God would tell him to do. And God said to Samuel, I want you to go find us a king from my land. And Samuel said, okay, I'll go find one then. But the thing is, Samuel was no expert in finding kings. So he just found the first person that he thought was a good looking guy. It was a handsome guy named Saul. And Saul was a sheep herder. Oh, what's a sheep herder? He, he's a guy who like tells the sheep where to go. Anyway, Saul was a bad choice because Saul just didn't know how to do anything and he's kind of lazy and he, all he wants to do is holo holo and eat and make trouble. So then God told Samuel, Samuel, you made a wrong choice. You got to find a better guy. And Samuel said, all right, let me try again. So Samuel, he went out and he saw this boy, like a poor, poor boy. And he thought, hey, this guy might do a good job and he could play a harp. It's like music, kind of like a harmonica. Hmm. So, so everyone knew that this little boy is who Samuel wanted to be the new king. And guess who didn't like that? The old, the current king, Saul, he was mad. Cause Saul said, I'm the king. I don't want a new king. I want to be the king. So he told this boy, boy David, hey, the Philistines, that's a different people. The Philistines are going to come and fight us. So you need to go into battle with the army. So he What's made battle. He had a big fight. So he made the boy go into the battle, the big fight. No. I know against the Philistines. And the Philistines had a giant who would fight with them. Kira, he was eight feet tall. That's almost twice daddy's height. Mm. Not as twice, but you know. And all of David's people were afraid of him because he was so huge. And the giant would all insult them. He would say, hey, your mommy doesn't brush her teeth. And he would say, hey, you guys, have stink breath. And he said, hey, you guys bubba has all kinds of bumps on it. That's not nice. It's not nice. And then, you know what David said? That's what David said. David said, hey, that's not nice. The giant, his name was Goliath. He said, what are you? You're just playing a harmonica. And David said, I can do more than play a harmonica. So he put a rock 
at the end of a big rubber band. <laughs> and he swung it, and he swung it, and he swung it, and he swung it, and whoosh, And the rock went straight to Goliath's head and went, book, hit him right in the head. And he went, aww. Blah, and blah. the big giant fell down. Boom. And all the all of David's evil went, yay, the harmonica player. He and the goat farmer was the victor. And What's the victor? The winner. So all, all I'm they, the victor. And all the I'm Philistines. The victor. All the Philistines saw the big giant fought out and they all ran away. They were so scared. They thought David was amazing, like scary, because he could knock out their giant. Anyway, you know who's mad? No. King Saul. Because he's like, oh, this guy David, he's popular and everyone wants him and they don't like me. So King Saul was really bad. And you know what he did? Mm -mm. He had his secret army go to kidnap David. But David found out that. So you know what he did? No. David ran away so they couldn't find him. And he ran and ran, and King Saul was trying to find him, and he ran and ran. And finally, King David got big and strong enough. And he said, King Saul, you need to get out of here, because I'm the new king. So King Saul ran away, and David became the new king. Is he good or bad? Well, David was a good king, but, you know, all kings do bad things. And he, poor David killed a lot of people because he said that God told him to, but well, that's a very interesting question of why God would want to kill people. Well, God, anyway. I, I thought God is nice. I know, so maybe David was just, you know, making his own decisions. So anyway, David, he made a big celebration and he brought... God's ark into a big temple. And God's ark was a big fancy box that God wanted, I guess. And David made a big parade and a celebration. And you know what David did? No. He started dancing. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was dancing and dancing and dancing. Yeah. And then he'll get more and more excited. Yeah. And they will dance even more. And you know, back in the day, you know what the men used to wear? They would wear shirts like yours. What? Yeah, that's what they would wear. And when you would dance so much, you know what happened? No. He showed his bubba to people by accident. Uh oh. So people were laughing because they saw his bubba. <laughs> and then his wife saw that from a window. And when David finally came with his wife, his wife and his wife is Michelle, she said, David, you're dancing a little too crazy and you're showing your bubba to everybody. <laughs> and David got mad at Michelle, so he didn't like her anymore. Other than that, David was a good king because he kept order and he was a strong military ruler. But then one day, David did something bad. What is it? Well, he saw a really pretty woman and her name was Bathsheba. And he said, <laughs> So pretty? Yeah, really pretty woman, Bathsheba. And he said, Who's that lady? I said, Well, that's Bathsheba. She's married to that guy, Uriah. And he said, Oh, who's his husband, Uriah? He said, oh, He's a soldier in your army. So you know what David did? He said, I want Uriah to go in the front of the line to go fight in the army. And said, okay. So they sent her husband to fight, and her husband died in the battle. And you know what David did? No. Then he married Bathsheba. But that was bad because he got her husband to die so he could just take her. And God always knew that he did that. So David's family was never happy. And his family would always fight with each other, and no one was ever happy in his family. So David was so sad because he wasn't happy anymore, even though he had his pretty wife that he wanted, Bathsheba, because he stole her. 
And then a, then a priest came to talk to him. His priest's name was Nathan. Nathan, I did everything God told me to do. Why is my life so horrible? And Nathan said, let me tell you a story first, David. Hey, there's a sheep farmer who's got a hundred sheep. And he's so wealthy. He's got the biggest sheep farm in the world. And, but mm. right next door to him is like a poor sheep farmer. And that guy only has one sheep. And that sheep farmer loved that one sheep of his so much. But he only had one. And then one day, the rich sheep farmer, he killed the poor sheep farmer. And he stole his one sheep. And put that one sheep in his flock. And then the priest Nathan asked, so David, what do you think of the story? What, should, what would you do to that rich sheep farmer that killed the poor guy and stole his sheep? And David said, well, he has to go to jail and maybe he has to you know, be punished. And Nathan said, you are that rich sheep farmer, David, because that's what you did. So God is punishing you because you did a bad thing. And he doesn't like your dancing either because you dance funny. So David said, oh no. But he had a son named Solomon with Bathsheba. That's a whole other story. <laughs>